amazing. Just saying. Oh, I. Hey guys, welcome back to the Music Mindset channel. Man, that song right there booed up. You know what I'm saying? Get got a little old now, but that song was hot, man. And every time I hear it, it brings back a certain kind of feeling, you know what I'm saying? Hey, Music Mindset family, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about one of R&B's most soulful voices in the game right now. And her name is Ella May. If you've been vibing to hits like booed up and trip, then you already know what time it is. But how did this British singer go from Instagram covers to Grammy gold? Let's break down Ella May's journey, her influences, and what makes her such a strong force in today's music. Now, your girl Ella May was born in London on November 3rd, 1994, and named after the legendary jazz singer Ella Fitzgerald. You can already tell that music was gonna be a huge part of her life. With an Irish father and a Jamaican mother, Ella grew up in a diverse household where genres like reggae, jazz, and R&B were always playing in the house somewhere. She was introduced to legends like Lauryn Hill and Alicia Keys. You can hear that kind of influence on her music today. When Ella was 12, her family made the big move from London to New York. Now imagine that, being a British kid trying to fit into an American middle school. Man, you know that was tough, right? She was bullied for her accent, but it didn't stop her. Instead, it gave her thick skin, and it definitely did not stop her from learning to sing. In fact, she first performed publicly at her high school graduation, singing the national anthem, which gave her the push she needed to pursue music seriously. Now, here's where things get even more interesting. Before Ella Mae started hitting it big, she spent time learning the piano. That gave her a real foundation in music theory and helped shape her understanding of rhythm and melody. Not many people know that she had classical vocal training during her teenage years in London. And this kind of dedication gave her a strong foundation to experiment with her sound. She also attended the British and Irish Modern Music Institute, the BIMM, where she refined her skills in both performance and music theory. This experience helped her with a technical knowledge to be more than just a singer. She's a musician who knows the ins and outs of the music making process. Now fast forward to 2016. Yeah, man, this is when Ella's life changed completely. She was posting cover songs on Instagram when she caught DJ Mustard's eye. Yes, that's the producer behind hits from everyone from Rihanna to Big Sean. Mustard discovered her. He saw her talent and signed her to his 10 Summers label. Then in 2017, she dropped her Ready EP, and it featured the smash hit, Boot Up. Man, that's the jam. That song was everywhere. I mean, it became an anthem for people in love, people missing their ex, and everybody in between. Booed Up didn't just make noise on the charts. It earned Ella a Grammy for the best R&B song in 2019. And that's huge for an artist still on the rise. But what really stands out about Ella May is that she's got that incredible ability to write songs that cut deep. Man, that's street stuff. Whether she's talking about falling in love or dealing with heartbreak, she brings that real, raw emotion every time. And if that's not enough, Ella Mae recently hit another major milestone in her life. She welcomed a baby in early 2024, and the father is none other than Jason Tatum, the NBA star, you know? The news took fans by surprise, but also added another layer to Ella Mae's life and music. You could bet that her next album might touch on the joys and challenges of motherhood and family life. This new chapter is going to show fans even more of a depth as an artist and as a person, because babies can be something to deal with. Now don't get it twisted, Ella ain't just following trends, she's shaping them. She's bringing back that classic 90s R&B vibe, but making it sound fresh and new. Her voice is smooth, her melodies are timeless and the production of her tracks are always on point. And the best part, she's a relatable type person, you know what I mean? You feel like she's singing about your life, your relationships, and your ups and downs. So what else has Ella May accomplished? Well, besides the Grammy win, she's racked up millions of streams and tons of awards. She performed on major stages like the BET Awards, Coachella, and even supported Beyonce and JC on a O2R2 tour. Try to say that 10 times. 
That's some serious company, you know what I mean? You probably some serious money too. And Ella's got a new album in the works and fans are waiting to see what she does next. Her ability to connect with listeners on such a deep level is what keeps her at the top of the R&B game. Man, I was just sitting here and listening to their track and I thought, this is a song that everybody's gotta hear at least once. It's got that funky kick drum supported by the claps, rim shot, and cowbell. Then the full ethereal piano part playing the most mesmerizing chords, man. They suck you in, backed by a subtle bass line. And then the clean lead vocals and on part harmonies in the background. The girl's doing a thing, man. This song can give you the chills, make you want to love somebody, you know what I mean? Man, y'all go check out the full song and let me know what you think about Ella May. And drop a comment below about her and let me know what your favorite track is. We do this kind of stuff on the channel, so, so go ahead and like, comment, share, and subscribe and all that stuff. And stick with the channel for more deep dives into artists who are shaping today's music, old and new. This is Mr. Mindset. I'm going to check y'all out next time. Thanks.